Well, good afternoon and welcome to the wonderful Disney Springs here in, oh, that was awesome. So we're walking over to Disney Springs from Saratoga Springs. And we were at Animal Kingdom this morning and there's no buses that go from the parks directly over to Disney Springs. So we just decided to pick a bus that went to the closest resort, which was Saratoga Springs. And now we're just taking the little walkway over to uh, Disney Springs. Never done it before, nice and relaxing. That's kind of neat. Oh, but if you do that, just make sure you stop at the, uh, what's it called? Congress. So you want to stop at the Congress Park. That's what I said. Now I said it twice. Congress Park. Now it's three times. And I think our first stop here, well, I don't think, I know, is going to be Dockside Margaritas. Because as a friend pointed out to us, we do love our margaritas. What'd you get your margarita? Yeah, what'd you get? Chipotle pineapple margarita. Uh, oh yeah, it was like a special one. Yeah. It's like the Florida one. I think it's part of the flavors from, or it is part of the flavors from Florida. I didn't get that. Uh, I ended up getting a... Uh, iced a tea margarita? Uh, no, it's not a margarita. I think it's just a, just an awesome iced tea. Well, let's follow Jessica up here into, not up here, but you know, into Disney style. Let's see if there's anything new and refreshing in there. Well, here's a shirt that caught Jessica's eye. She said that one's cute, which it is. I'd wear it. Oh, I like this one too. That's fun, fun prints. Mm. Oh, we're in the, the M&M store. Never been in here before. There's a lot of M&Ms. Yeah, there was a wall over there. Huh? Oh, wow. Dang, that is a lot of M&Ms. Oh, look at this guy. That's an M&M. What are you pointing at? What do you think of the M&M store? It's crowded. Yeah, a lot of people in there. And it was really just a bunch of M&Ms. I guess that's what you would expect from the M&M store. Just a bunch of M&Ms. One of the places that has some flavors of Florida uh, is uh, Chef Arts. We always have a really nice time when we go there, so we're gonna go there and get some uh, some Florida-specific treats. And we'll show them to you. All right, so now we're inside of Chef Art Smith's homecoming super fantastic restaurant. We're gonna get some drinks and some uh, treats that are based around Florida. And look at this one. This is the Floradora. That looks pretty fun, right? And Jessica, what'd you get? A moonshine margarita. A moonshine margarita. I grabbed her drink. That's a dangerous thing to do. You don't grab a woman's Jessica's drink, drink with tequila in it. How's that thing? It's as good as I remembered. Oh man. Now for this Floradora. Oh man, that's really, that's real good. You might like it. Take a sip. We also got these gator bites, right, for the flavors of Florida. What do you think about the gator bites? Does it taste like chicken? Really? JR's gonna have some too. He's never had gator before. No? What do you mean? It really does taste like chicken. It tastes like chicken, except better. Oh, yeah. Interesting. The flavor is really good on these. Sometimes gator bites are chewy, you know? Dang it. These are really good. Oh man, we so got our food and it looks really amazing. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just look at this. This is the club, right? Country club. Yeah, it's the country club, so it's got a little bit of chicken in there and some uh, bacon and cheese and lettuce and tomato on a nice crunchy bun and some um, potato chips uh, with a with like a house like dressing type thing on it. Ice box dressing, that's what they call it. Jessica got the fried chicken sandwich that looks amazing and instead of the chips on the side, she opted for the mac and cheese. This is mama's mac and cheese. Holy moly, holy smokes. Oh man. That is ridiculously awesome. Mm. And JR, he opted for one of the best things on the menu, uh, which is the chicken and donuts here. And there is a specific way that you eat this because it comes with donuts, it comes with chicken, and it comes with mashed potatoes. A little bit of potato. Chicken. Some donut. Syrup. All that in one. That's how it's done. Oh my gosh, I'm so full from Chef Art Smith's homecoming. I thought we were doing the Florida thing. 
but I don't know if we got enough room in our tummies for it. But the flavors are good. The flavors, we're experiencing some flavors. We're gonna go over to Gideon's now, which is right around the corner from here. Just on the other side of Morimoto here. So Morimoto has a, uh, a Florida thing here. I think it's got the frog leg thing, but we're not doing that either. It's time for sweets. Handmade cookies. They got the flavors of Florida offerings. And then the other things on the bottom there. What's on the other side? Ooh, nice art. So that's fun, spooky. Is that Ariel? of Gideon's alive with a bag full of goodies and a couple of drinks. But this is their cold brew, so they have some cold brews. I got the, um, this ginger. is a coffee, it's a ginger snap. Peanut butter. How's that one? Pretty good, and it's got mocha on the top. This tastes really good, it's very gingery. It's got like that ginger bite to it. Well, Jessica didn't get quite the treat she was looking for. I mean, I guess in a way she did. She she saw this craw dog because anything crawfish that reminds her of the Mississippi coast. She's got to get. That's from over here at uh, BB Wolf's Sausage Company. I guess it's like a special one they got, or at least it's a featured one. So it's a Mardi Gras smoked craw dog with smoked andouille sausage, crawfish, lemon caper aioli, and Creole pepper sauce on a roll. I am absolutely not hungry at all. Actually, I'm kind of full, but that is good. It's not part of, a, of the flavors of Florida, but dang, that's good. I think that's enough for today here at Disney Springs. It was a pretty awesome day. We did the, a few of the Florida flavor things, flavors of Florida, and they were actually pretty darn good. We did a couple of non-Florida flavor things that were pretty darn good too. But in any case, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it the old thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one as far as we're concerned. Yeah, that's pretty cool.